We thank God for the last lecture. We bless the name of the Lord for our teacher. We want to move to the next topic by the grace of God. Shall we pray? Lord, as we share your word, we pray that your spirit will move Amen. and speak unto all beyond the word we can be, can be given from the pulpit Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Upon our hearts, Amen. upon our ears, Amen. upon our minds, upon our eyes, Amen. upon the scriptures Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bless your word, O God, Amen. to transform our lives Amen. and use me as your oracle. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Praise the living Jesus. It is very good for us to answer the call to whatever ministry, whatever department that God has called. Please help me call those who are downstairs to be here. This will close everything. Nothing is more important than this time, please. It is one thing to be called to, to know what should be our character, to know how to minister. But there's an area that is very important for us. Not only in the church, even outside there, but much more importantly, it's very, very important for the body of Christ, for us as people of God, if we want to be effective, if we want to please the person who has called us and who's called we have answered. It's a question I've been asking long, long, long time until it was 2000 that I placed my hand of what the solution is. And that is exactly what is happening here now. It is the commitment of the worker God uses. Commitment of the worker God uses. The commitment of a church worker. Praise God. This is very, very important. There's no way we can be effective if we are not committed to what we do. There's no way our light can shine if we are not committed to what we do and to the person who has called us. There's no way the glory of the Lord will be, will be shown if we are not commitment. If there's no commitment. Praise God. If there's no commitment. There's no, we cannot be impactful. We cannot be effective. Commitment is very, very important, both in the church and outside the church. Very, very important. Commitment is to, is to be committed is to dedicate your life and your resources to a cause, to a thing, or to somebody. Is to dedicate, is to devote Everything, to devote everything, to consecrate every, consecrate everything. That is what we call commitment. It is to surrender. It is to yield everything. It is to pour out yourself into a cause, into a thing, or into a person. That word is even used in marriage. It's like an engagement. You have an engagement. It's from, it's from the French word committere. Committere. It's, it's like an engagement. It's a devotion. It's, it's like, like fellowshipping with somebody. It's like interacting with somebody. Very, very important. Commitment is key to success of a church worker, of a worker that God will use. Commitment is very, very important. People of God. And that's why you have all kinds of people in the church. All kinds, all kinds. You have the crowd. Praise God. The what? The crowd. You have the crowd. They just, they just oh, that, there's a church right there. Uh, they do this and this. We see them every Sunday coming out of there. That's the crowd. When you go for a crusade, the, the crowd will be there. And then you have those who are seeking to really know God. Okay. Now that I, I see that they are doing something here, they now, be, they now begin to seek. We call them seekers. And then you go from there to those who are really, really committed. Those ones become the disciples. And then the core. The core are the people that make, really make things happen in the local church. That's the core. But we are talking about commitment, the committed to the, the committed, the committed. We are supposed to be committed, to be devoted, totally, deadly, dedicated to the cause of the gospel that we have had, 
to the cause of our vocation, to the cause of our calling, we have to be totally committed, deadly committed. Praise God. Devotion is very important. Dedication is very important. Pouring yourself, pouring everything you have into whatever you are doing. That is when you are going to make a mark. That's when you are going to make a mark. That's when you are going to make an influence if you really, really commit yourself to it. When you see a teacher who studies, you will know. A teacher who reads, a teacher who is resourceful, a teacher who learns, you will, you will easily know from what he or she delivers. If he commits himself to that teaching, it will show. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. And it will be different from somebody who handles very casually. When she's going to teach, you just brush one thing or the other and he goes to teach. You will know that this person didn't really, really prepare. Amen. Amen. Commitment is very important, people of God. It means total dedication. It means total yieldedness. It means pouring yourself and your resources into what you believe in, into a cause, into a person, into an organization. If you say you are committed to this church, it means a lot. And that's what this church is even looking about. We are looking for committed people. I was sharing with a, with a man of God out there. We, we, I think we are sharing. Praise God. I won't be in church, but this and this and this will, will happen even in my absence. That is commitment. Praise God. It's true I will not be there. I was, I was, I was ministering to somebody in, the, in my office yesterday night. And they came from afar off to this place. I knew this person very closely in the church. He also work, he works at the altar. They handle the, the, uh, the, 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 communion, the communion table. Any time we will not be in church, if we will walk on the Sunday, he will rush to the church in the morning, praise God, to prepare the elements. He will get it ready for the man of God to use and the people in the church to use. But he is in charge. But if walk, he will first of all come to the church early in the morning. That is commitment. He had an excuse. I'm not coming today. Oh, that, 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 that we don't, I mean, I'm not coming to church today. Yet, he will make sure that, that that vacancy is not, I mean, that position is not what? It's not vacant. He will come early in the morning to do that. His commitment. He, because he's sold out to that church. He's committed to that church. He's devoted to that church. He pours himself into that church. He pours his resources into that church. That's how you know a person who is committed. Some are very, very casual. How? Casual. When you see me, anytime, anytime you see me on some occasions, just be glad that I come around. Praise God. It should not be so. People of God, for a church worker, a church worker must be committed. Let's look at Luke chapter 14. Luke 14. I read from verse 25. The cost of being a disciple. Large crowds who are traveling with Jesus. A large crowd. After he has ministered, after he had done a lot of uh, work, large crowds were traveling with Jesus and turning to them, he said, if anyone comes to me and does not hate his father and mother, his wife and children, his brother and sister, yes, even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Suppose one of you wants to build a tower. Will he not first sit down and estimate the cost to see if he has enough money to complete it? For if he lays the foundation and is not able <coughs> to finish it, everyone who sees it will ridicule him, saying, this fellow began to build and was not able to finish. Or suppose a king is about to go to war against another king. Will he not first sit down and consider whether he is able with 10,000 men to oppose the one coming against him with 20,000? If he is not able, he will send a delegation while the other is still a long way off and will ask for terms of peace. In the same way, anyone who does not give up everything, anyone who does not give up everything he has cannot be my disciple. Anyone who does not give up everything he has cannot be my 
disciple. If Jesus is requesting anything from you and you're unable to give it, he says you are not fit to be his disciple. He owns you, he owns me, he owns whatever you have, he owns everything that I have. Praise the Lord. So commitment is very, very important. Commitment is very, very important as a, as a, as a worker that God uses. As a church worker, we need to be totally committed, deadly, 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 dedicated. This is very, very important, people of God. Conse we call it conse consecration. It is important. When you, you read that from even Romans chapter 12, praise God, from verse 1. So I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you would present yourself as what? A living sacrifice. As a living sacrifice. This commitment. And un unless a, 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 a piece of corn dies, falls to the ground and dies, it remains alone. Dedication is very, very important. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Now, there, 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 there's this man of God that did an exposition on this passage of the scriptures. And anytime I'm teaching on commitment, I, I always refer to it because I love it. It opens my eyes. It's called Daniel Holcomb. H-O-L-C-O-M-B. Daniel Holcomb. Dr. Daniel Holcomb. He, 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 he kind of helps us to see the, the dimensions of commitment. The dimensions of commitment. It makes us to see the dimensions of commitment. Dr. Daniel Holcomb. He said, if you say you are committed... The kind of commitment that Jesus Christ is requiring from us, that God is requiring from us, is this. Your commitment must be exclusive. Must be what? Exclusive. Exclusive. Ex this is the central to all other forms of commitment. It must be exclusive. He said, if anyone will come after me, if anybody will be my, what? My disciple. He must do what? He hate his father. He hate his mother. He hate his children. He hate even his own, what? His brother and sister and even his own life. Meaning, his love for me must be supreme. Nobody must come between me and him. Praise the Lord. There must be not, not be any competition between me and and you, that is what he's trying to say here. I want to be the executive president of your life. Your commitment must be such that I am the alpha and omega in your life. Praise God. The executive president. The executive, executive president is the center of all our commitments. Mark chapter 10, verse 37. Mark 10, 37. Let's read somebody read. Mark 10, 37. Mark chapter 10, verse 37. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. They were indignant. They were hungry. Yes. Those who are regarded as rulers of Gentiles, they lord it over them. Uh -huh. Not so. Uh -huh. Instead, uh -huh. whoever wants to become great among you uh -huh. must first be your servant. Uh -huh. And whoever wants to be first uh -huh. must be slave of all. Uh -huh. Even the son of man. Even the son of man. But what? And to what? And to As a ransom. Praise God. Jesus Christ wants to be the Lord of all in our lives. He wants to be the executive president. 
And that exclusiveness is central to other areas of our commitment. It regulates other areas of commitment. He must be in charge. We must be totally, totally, completely, deadly committed to him. Praise the Lord. So our commitment must be exclusive. Must be exclusive. We must have supreme love. Supreme love for Jesus. For our Savior. This is important people of God. It is not only exclusive, but it must also be inclusive. Inclusive. What are we saying here, people of God? Jesus Christ does not just want to be in one place in your, in your, in your life. He wants to be the Lord of all. Every area, every aspect of your life must be subjected, so must be surrendered to him. This is how our commitment must be. All areas of your life, all areas of your life, your marriage, your work, your time, your money, everything must be surrendered to him. He must be in charge. You can't leave him in the world, in the living room and say, you can't go to my bedroom. You can't even open my world, my, 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 my refrigerator or closet. You want to be able to open your closet and see the things that are there. Some people go to Africa, they bring some sand here, they pull sand from the from Babbage. From where? Babbage. They tie it and put it in their wardrobe. Jesus Christ wants to see what are you what are you what are, what are you doing with this one? What are you using this one to do? Am I not enough for you? Yes. It's what I see myself. It's not uh, it's not uh, I'm, I'm not conjoining it. It's what people are doing. Praise God. We want to receive the anointing. Amen. It's not what I'm conjuring. When he opens your fridge, what is inside? I'm not open, I'm not ask, I'm not talking about the fridge in the in the kitchen. The fridge in the corner of your bedroom. The master's the master's bedroom. The master's bedroom. And Jesus opens it. What is what is inside? Praise God. What is what? Inside. In, what is inside? Sometimes they tell me, uh, when I open, I see. And you know, we use the one, this, this one is Atejeshi. Praise God. I told Atejeshi, that is to say, this one is like a blood tonic. Blood tonic. You know, they, you know what they use for drugs, blood tonic? How many of us know it? They, sometimes they also put milk. They add milk to it. Guinness. Guinness. Praise God. No, no, he's, 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 no. <laughs> When I say they put milk in, t in it, they said, they said, they Guinness, they use Guinness. That's another name, apart from Guinness, there's another name they call. Not, not more. This one, they use Guinness. I'm saying, I'm talking Guinness. Praise God. Babadudu. Babadudu. Eh. Praise God. Praise the Lord. I saw an old, I saw an old woman. I saw, I saw an old and hey, you got it. Stout and hey, you're not Guinness. Stout. Stout. Odeku. Yeah, Odeku. Stout. Odeku. They said they use it for, they say, you know, we, we are getting old and we are using it to tone our blood. That, 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 that is, uh, you see, Jerry Troll. There's jerry straw you can use. You don't need stout. There's a raptor. That's what my mom used before she went to be with the Lord. A raptor. It's nice. It's very good. Hey, that's a blood tonic. It increases your iron. Praise God. And folic acid. Praise the Lord. But they, they, hide, they hide under blood to drink uh, stout. And it's very bitter. Very bitter. Praise the Lord. So Jesus Christ wants to be able to open your fridge. Wants to be able to open your pocket and see what you put inside there when you are traveling. Praise God. It must be inclusive. As broad as your love is. If you really love Jesus, then let him cover all areas of your life. Very important. Very important. Very important. Very important. It should not be hard for you to remove your tithes. For him. Praise God. 
Many of us, when we, have, when we have spent money on this, on this, on this, on this, on this, on this, without prioritizing that, it's difficult for us to pay our tithes. Very difficult. And we try to justify it. You can't justify it. Praise God. It must be inclusive. Your commitment must be functional. I live for Jesus. Day after day, I live for Jesus. Let come what may the Holy Spirit. I will obey. I live for Jesus day after day. And you're not doing anything in the church. Amen. Must be functional. That is to say, if you say you believe Jesus, show up by what you do for Jesus. Faith without work, the Bible says, is what is dead. Show me your faith by the work you do. Praise God. Show me your faith by the work you do. Faith without work is dead. If you say you are committed to Jesus, let us see. It, it must be functional. You must be doing something. That was the question we asked last Tuesday. Am I doing something definite for the Lord Jesus Christ? Examine yourself. Am I doing something definite for the Lord Jesus Christ? Is your faith translating into what you do specifically for Jesus? When you say you believe, you believe, you believe. I believe in Jesus. I, believe. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Let's see it with what you do. Praise the Lord. Some people have been in the church for 20 years. They have not placed their finger on anything. And I mean anything. And for 20 years. And when somebody now comes today and is doing this and doing that, and they're giving you, oh, she had done it now. It just, came, it just came. Ah. Especially me, not with me. Praise God. But he's just, just, just joining the church. But what about the experience he's bringing? What about, what about his enthusiasm and zeal right now? What about the, the, the availability that we're talking about? The avala word? Availability. Availability. Very important, people. Go. Let your commitment be functional. Be doing something specific. And this is where your specific calling comes in. The one we call the... Uh, the uh, a special calling, the secondary calling. Praise God. This is where it comes. To be doing something specific. Engage in doing something. Let your commitment be functional. You cannot say you are committed and you are not doing anything. Praise the Lord. Be doing something. And let your commitment be intense. Praise God. Somebody call it intensive. Let it be what? Intense. Intense. Be passionate. Zealous. There are scriptures for that. Not slothful in business. Perfect in the spirit. Serving the Lord. Be zealous. Be zealous. Titus chapter 2, verse 14. Say, be zealous in doing good. Titus 2, 14. Be zealous in doing good. Be zealous. Yes. 2.14. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Eager. Eager. To do what? Zealous. Another translation says zealous. Who are zealous? Zealous for good work. Zealous for good work. Titus 2.14. Uh-huh. Yes. Prefer unto himself. Uh-huh. Zealous. Eager. Zealous for good work. We must be zealous. We must be eager. We must be, we must be fanatical for the Lord Jesus. We must be on fire for God. This is what it means. Let people see that you are what? You are on course. You are on fire for the Lord Jesus Christ. Let, it, let the fire show. Let them know. Uh -uh. Did you kill Jesus? Yes, I killed Jesus. Yes. By my sin, I killed Jesus. He died for my sin. I killed Jesus. I must live for the one who died for me. I must show him that I am zealous. 
just like Jesus Christ himself. He said, the zeal, Psalm 69, the zeal of your house has what? Consume me. It the zeal of your house has consumed me. When you look at the life of, uh, uh, of, of even, even Peter, in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4, verse 20, he said, we cannot but what? Speak of what we have seen, of what we have heard. We cannot, if you want to kill us, kill us. But we can't, you can't stop us. Acts chapter 4, verse 20. But we cannot help. But we cannot help. We can't, I mean, I can't help it. We cannot help. Yes? Speaking about what we have seen and heard. We can't, I can't help it. If you want to kill me, you kill me. Praise God. I cannot, we cannot but speak. We cannot but speak in this name. We cannot but speak in the name of Jesus. We have seen it. We have heard it. We cannot. That is being zealous. That's being passionate. Praise the Lord. Being what? Pass Let people see it that you are passionate for Jesus. You can't afford to be here. If, even if you are sweeping in the house of God, let them see that you are sweeping. Sweeping very well. Praise God. I remember, I remember, I remember uh, Mama way here. Before we got that, uh, that they, they brought, they brought the, the, the trash can. He was calling me. I said, I said, where, where? I, I called I call them, but they, they said, okay, give me the number. He gave me the number for, for, for weeks. I couldn't do anything. But, and I, and he, she came to my office. I said, you know what? You are the one to do this thing. I can't call those people anymore. You call them, and then the, the, the thing is there. He, he, he zealous, zealous about it. He didn't allow me to rest. Praise God. And I don't allow her to rest. And now we have got, we have gotten it. That is being zealous. Just cleaning, cleaning. You need to come here on Tuesday. Cleaning everywhere, packing this way. Hey, Daddy, do you have any, any, any trash in your office? Praise God. She's not the head of janitorial ministry. She's not the one that we pay to do cleaning for us. But the zeal is there. Praise God. In fact, when we are writing what we are writing, I have to put it there. She also, she's also a janitor. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That's the way it is. Be zealous. Be eager to do what? Good work. Be zealous. Be zealous. My children in the choir, in the choir, please be zealous about what you do. Let, let the way you sing here be contagious. Be what? Contagious. Let me just say, what a mighty God is a Hallelujah. What a mighty God is a Heaven and earth adore even angel bow before me. Let it what? Be contagious. Oh, these people are happy. These people are joyful. Let it what? Be contagious. Be con Let them see that you are cheerful. You are what? You are, you are, you are zealous. We are, you are passionate with what you are doing. Very important. Amen. Don't do, don't do the work of God grudgingly. Grudgingly, as if under compulsion. No, as if under compulsion. Be zealous. Let it be intense. Praise the Lord. Be enthusiastic. I tell you, I give extra tip when I see an enthusiastic waiter in the restaurant. Ah, this, this person loves what he's doing. Praise God. Enjoy. Enjoy. Let them, let them see that you enjoy, you enjoy the work of God. Very important, people of God. Amen. Amen. Our commitment must be dynamic. Must be what? Dynamic. Growing. Grow. He said, grow in grace and the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. First Peter chapter 3, verse 18. Second Peter 3, 18. Grow in grace. And in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's be enthusiastic. Praise the Lord. Ephesians 4, 13. Let's continue to mature and grow and grow and grow and grow until we get to the stature of, and the fullness of our Lord Jesus Christ. Until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, attaining to the whole measure. Praise God. Verse 14. And to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ, we must be growing. Our commitment must be growing. Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. Don't be static. 
And whatever you are doing for God, be growing in it, be developing in it, be improving on it. That is what we are talking about. Don't go stay. Don't do what? Go stay. Even if God has used you to, 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 to like the message she delivered now, I expect that next time she's going to deliver that same, if he's giving that same message, it will not be the same. Praise God. You go and rework on it. Ah, I didn't remember this. And the Holy Ghost will do something, you work on it. Or you don't just, ah, where is the, that note that I use so, on May 22nd? May 22nd. Okay, it's in this file. You brought it, bring it, and you come up here. In fact, you perform less. You do what? Perform less. You need to work and rework and rework on it. The same message. The same message, but improvement. God wants us to be improving in our commitment. Don't go to the level of I, when I used to. Ah! When I used to. When I used to. When I used to. It's not a good testimony. It's not a good testimony. You used to pray, but you don't pray anymore. You used to fast at least once a week. You don't do it anymore. Praise God. You used to pray unto God for God to send the harvest, the, the workers into his harvest field. You don't do it anymore. It should not, that should not be our case, our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. We must be alive and developing. Alive and what? And developing. Very, very important. Galatians 4.19. The desire of, 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 of Paul was to see that the people began to grow, grow, grow until Jesus Christ is formed. In them. Galatians 4.19. My pain. My pain. My pain is yes. Uh-huh. Until, Christ, Until Christ, is Christ is formed in you. That's my heart desire, people of God. That everyone's heart will be filled with Jesus Christ. We don't just come here to just do, to, to do WhatsApp, to, do, to just go on social media, even during service. That Christ will be formed in us. That our life will be transformed. We will be reborn and reborn and reborn and reborn and reborn and regenerated and regenerated and regenerated until we are fully regenerated. Praise the Lord. We must be improving. Our commitment must be dynamic. God will help us in Jesus' name. And then it must be sacrificial. It must be what? Sacrificial. Sacrificial. L L Luke 14, 33. Luke 14, 33. In the same way, any one of you who does not give up everything he has cannot be my disciple. It must cost you. Your commitment must what? Must cost you. It must cost you. It must cost you. David said, I will not sacrifice an offering unto the Lord that cost me nothing. No. No. When he got to the, to the yard of Aruan, I wanted to make a sacrifice unto God. And that man said, I, want, I mean, he told the man, I need, I need some piece of land around this place. And he said, sir, whichever, way, whichever place you want, I give it to you. Even the animals, I give you the animals. I said, no, 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 no. I will not offer unto God. Any sacrifice that will cost me nothing. 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 I won't. I won't. I think 2 Samuel 24, 24. I will not offer anything. 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 That would have cost me nothing unto God. Very important. It must cost us something. Praise God. Our commitment must cost us something. It must cost us something. Very important. And then Jesus Christ is not recruiting a, a short, short, short term short term marines is in recruiting career soldiers career what? soldiers meaning our commitment must be permanent you say well I've served God enough I think it's okay we hand over everything to the children or to the, to the people that are just coming to the church to the new convert the new convert can go now cannot go with this one no 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 your commitment will be permanent. As long as I live, I will serve the Lord. As long as I live, I will be committed to do it. As long as I still have breath in me, I will continue to serve. So our commitment must be exclusive, must be inclusive, must be functional, must be intense, must be sacrificial, must be dynamic, and must be permanent. 
very important. Very important. We see the example of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. The example of who? Jesus Christ. Like we read, he said, I must walk when this is day. Night is coming. When no one will be able to walk, to walk. My father walk and I walk. My father what? Walk and I walk. In Luke chapter 4, they told him that uh, uh, we have been, he went to a solitary, solitary place. Luke chapter 4 from verse 42 to 43. He went to a solitary place to pray and the disciples were looking for him and they said, we have been looking for you. We want you to stay around here. I said, no, 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 no. no. I, I still have to preach in other cities and places. Praise the Lord. The Lord will bless us. We see the example of Paul the Apostle. He lived a life of total, total dedica de de dedicated commitment to the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord will bless us. As the God will bless us in the name of Jesus Christ. I live for Jesus day after day. I live for Jesus. Let come what may thy Holy Spirit. I will obey. I live for Jesus day after day. Does anyone have one or two questions before we close? Any question from anybody? Any question? Any question? Any question? Any question? If there are no questions, shall we rise up, please? While we are standing, I want somebody to read for us after the Apostles chapter 20 from verse 17. Acts of the Apostles chapter 20. From my yes. Paul sent to Ephesus. Uh huh. For the elders of the church. Yes. When they arrived, yes. He said to them, uh, You know how I did the whole time. This is commitment. I just want to see a picture of somebody who is totally dedicated to God. Yes. Yes. I serve the Lord with great humility. With great humility. What? With tears. tears. Although I was the clearest tested by the blood of Jesus, mm -hmm. to know that I have not expected to preach anything mm -hmm. that would be helpful to you, yes. but have taught you publicly and from house to house. Commitment. I have declared to both Jews and Greeks mm -hmm. that. Uh -huh. I'm going to tell you something. Uh -huh. Not knowing what will happen to me here. Uh -huh. I only know uh -huh. that in every place, uh -huh. the whole Holy Spirit uh -huh. dwells me, that preaching and outreach are facing me there. However, however I my life listen, people of God, however, I consider my life worth nothing. Uh -huh. Only oh. I may finish the race. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh, 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 24. That's 24. However, I consider my life worth nothing to me. My only aim is to finish the race and complete the task that the Lord Jesus has given me. The task of testifying to the Lord, to the, to the good news of God's grace. Is that, is, that, is that our own commitment to you? Or is our life worth everything to us? He said, I consider my life worth nothing to me. This strong writer says, I live for him. How happy then. I live for him. Who died for me, my Savior, ah, my God. I just want us to go to God and rededicate our lives unto him. I want to commit my life afresh unto you. I want to rededicate my life unto you. Lord, help me. Help me. That my commitment to you will be exclusive. It will be inclusive. It will be intensive. It will be functional. It will be sacrificial. It will be dynamic. It will be permanent. Help me, Holy Spirit. Shall we pray in the name of Jesus? Le kapos ke te relebo. Linta klase to kladoris. I dizuzu brele ke te la gabaha.
Kambo Shandale, a Torre Sokre Boro Kaba. In Jesus' name, we pray. Father, we thank you and bless you for your word, for your calling, for your grace upon us, for the mission of the church. We bless you and give you praise in Jesus' name. We just ask that as we follow you, as we play our own part, we shall be totally dedicated unto you, committed unto you and your cause in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please let us all rise up as we pray for our pastor. That as God has used him for us this afternoon, that the Lord will continually use him. And that the Lord will bless him and his family. And that he will not falter nor fall. That all will be well with him. Let us pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. And we also pray that, Father, whatever I have learned here today, it will continually be in my heart and my mind. The grace to put it, to put it and to do exactly what I need to do to be a child of God, Father, give it to me. Let us pray. Let us rededicate our lives to God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Let us all have our seats. Today has been a wonderful day, and I know that the Lord has done something marvelous in the hearts of everyone that attended this retreat, and even those that are watching online. Tomorrow is another day for us to come together in the presence of the Lord. The service starts by 11 a.m. in the morning. Sunday school starts by 10 a.m., to 11, while uh, the workers' meeting starts by 9.30 a.m. And uh, for those who are joining us for the first time, we have our Bible studies on Tuesdays from 7 p.m. and our prayer meetings on Zoom on Fridays. So I pray that the Lord will bless every one of us. So before we go to the, today, we'd like to invite our pastor once again to give us the closing prayer. And if there's any one or two announcements again, he'll give it to us. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to first thank those of us who have made the time, not only to be here, but to also stay to the end of the seminar. The Lord will bless you tremendously. And your lives will never remain the same in the name of Jesus. By the grace of God, tomorrow we will be appreciating our workers. By the grace of God, we'll be appreciating them. Some are still here, some uh, left during COVID. Praise God, but we still reach out to them by the grace of God. So tomorrow will be a full day, and God will help us as we manage the day in the name of Jesus. Shall we rise up and pray? Let's commit tomorrow's service into the hand of the Lord, that the presence of God will be here. That heaven will open, that the glory of God will fill this temple, and the Holy Spirit will convince, convict, and compel his people to come and be blessed and worship him in spirit and in truth. In the name of Jesus, shall we pray. And let everyone that will minister one way or the other, we minister under the unction of the Holy Spirit. Rosese brede ke delegebo. Masoto prodo kotoro dabaha. Mala katare ke delebo. Zumbru no kopoho. 
ask God to begin to minister to our people that they will, they, 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 they will be more, more, more interested in the things of God than the things of the world, in the things of the kingdom, in the things of the local church, than the things of the world, in the name of Jesus, that they will love God more than pleasure, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. As we are prayed, Lord, answer us speedily in the name of Jesus. Bless us, bless your church. Be this church and grow this church in the name of Jesus. To God alone be all the glory and honor and majesty. As we go, Lord, go with us. This pass us with your blessings in the name of Jesus. Grant us Johnny Masses back home and refreshing us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' name we pray. May we share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely his goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let's shout seven hallelujahs. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah.